welcome to the European Property Awards. I'm Richard Best, Lord Best. I'm one of the chairman of judges for the International Property Awards. I'm here in the English city of York, a place steeped in millennia of history. There's evidence of settlement here from the end of the Stone Age onwards, and the city has had major roles in Roman, Middle Ages and medieval times through to its modern status as a lively, bustling centre of culture and industry. Layers of history can be seen throughout York in its streets, its buildings. Modern offices nestle up to ancient walls and fortifications. New housing developments are within striking distance of medieval timber-framed halls. Contemporary shops are embedded in the winding passages of centuries-old market lanes. It's places like these that show how humanity has become entwined with the buildings we create. From homes to workplaces, leisure to industry, property is an integral part of our life, culture and identity. The awards aim to celebrate and promote the importance of property as we search for excellence in such an essential field. Every company that has won an award should be proud of its achievements. They're furthering their firm and their country on the global stage. I'd like to offer you my most sincere congratulations on your success. Hello, I'm Stuart Shield, the founder and president of the International Property Awards. In 1993, I had a vision to create a programme encouraging the highest level of quality and achievement in the world of property. I wanted to highlight the excellent work by property firms that has had a direct impact on the lives of millions of people. And for over 25 years now, we have been identifying and rewarding the finest companies working in architecture, interior design, property development and real estate sales. Now we may have started from a small seed, but today we are a truly global competition with thousands of entries from hundreds of countries in every corner of the world. These are carefully assessed by our team of expert judges to determine those meeting the highest standards of an award. The world listens to these awards and they're the largest and widest ranging in existence. Over the years I've seen past participants go from strength to strength and hope that this year's winners experience the same. I'd like to congratulate every company that has won an award. It is a testament to the hard work and dedication and I hope that it drives businesses to even greater levels of success in the future. We roll out the red carpet for you as we celebrate your success in these awards. Achieving five star for best hotel interior Norway is Josephine's Gate 30 Hotel by Fab Lab Design AS. We 
don't stop there. The highest scoring five star winners in each country have been re-judged to decide who will be going forward to compete for the best in their region and potentially even in the world. The presentations of the international awards will take place once winners from all the other regions of the world have been announced. Let's find out who the European nominees are. The nominees for Best Hotel Interior are Josephine's Gate 30 Hotel by Fab Lab Design AS. <laughs> from our winner to find out a bit more about them. My name is Siva Amundsen Lack and I'm the founder and interior designer of FabLab Design in Oslo. Tell us about the history of your company and what it does. I lived in London for 10 years and I founded um, FabLab Design in 2001 and uh, I wanted a um, creative lab so to speak and with different creative disciplines and um, as the years developed we did more product design uh, bespoke interior solutions and um, uh, interior architecture so uh, this is what we still do and um, uh, we also are more um, fascinated by old buildings and give them new life. So a part of uh, historical buildings and doing, um, working with National Trust and uh, looking back into history gives us a total different inspiration than just being inspired by the, the trends, the, what's in fashion at the moment. It's much more interesting to um, to make interiors that uh, kind of um, tell something about the space you're in. Is this the first time you've won an award? Actually, this is the second time we won an award and uh, last time we won with the Best Office Interior uh, for Europe and we ended up um, being one of the five nominees in the global um, global final basically so that was very exciting because one thing is to be recognized that's the best office project in in Europe uh, to compete with America Asia all the big uh, countries of course that's even even more exciting <laughs> which aspects of your company are you most proud of I'm proud of the company being very, uh, we can be easily excited about any projects, small or big, and um, we have uh, the ability to work really well alongside uh, entrepreneurs, uh, the clients, and uh, get on board uh, good uh, creative partnerships. So, um, so uh, it's a it's a teamwork basically. If you can make that team work well together, you can do uh, great stuff. And um, I feel uh, the team in Fab Lab, uh, yeah, they're fabulous. <laughs> the suite is an uh, apartments hotel with uh, 53 fully furnished apartments. We, we choose the name to honor the, the children who who come in this world right here in this building. So that's why we call them for the suite. Oh, the suite is a gem. It's actually um, a beautiful building. And uh, the interesting history behind it is that it, it was built as a hospital, but from a very uh, ambitious um, doctor, um, entrepreneur, who wanted to make the, the, the most beautiful and up-to-date hospital he could uh, make. We had some photos taken in 1920 
black and white but beautifully taken so we could actually read a lot of details in them and we decided it's very important to take it back in time basically, recreate the way it was as much as we could, like the lamps, the colour, the different kind of furniture, but bring in a little bit of more of cosy fabrics, the colours, so it should be a nice place to be. The building owners that took on this property and maybe uh, didn't know the, the vast it's almost like a Pandora box, but maybe not such a positive box because you open things and say, shit, this we need to do uh, and renovate or you had to do it in a maybe more traditional crafty way that's more expensive. And I think they, they took all these uh, surprises uh, with the just uh, we're going to fix this, we're going to do this. So basically a lot of the, f the framework, it was listed on, on grade 3 listing, so um, the framework was already there. Uh, the, the shape of the rooms, the size of the rooms, the doors, the ceiling, the cornish, everything was already there. And uh, so we needed to make the colour palette right, go back 100 years and find the right colour. And based on the colour on each of these patient rooms, whether it was four patient room, three patient room, one, they had the separate colour. And then we needed to make the interior follow the, the wall colours and get this right. If you approach an interior like a brand, it's, it's more of um, capture the identity, not just for the client, but also for the building. And if you can match those things right, it, you will notice it. This was exactly like this 100 years ago, and they used uh, opaque glass, uh, so it shouldn't be too bright, but give natural light. This is what I think this uh, house does so well. Double doors, so you shouldn't hear baby scream. <laughs> this is uh, the operating theater, and what is uh, wonderful on this floor is to try to preserve some of the history behind without making it scary. So the floor above had uh, a big glass window, and then they put big open glass panels on the floor. So the light came into the attic and reflected down into the operating theatre. The attic floor was not listed uh, as strictly as the other floors. So we wanted to give the hotel a little bit of modern twist. Yeah, a little bit bolder. <laughs> I would love to be a patient here. At the moment, it's more expensive for entrepreneurs to actually preserve old buildings. Uh, it's cheaper to just knock them down and build something new. I like to be able to work on uh, old buildings, listed buildings, and uh, look, to the, look back in history, basically, and preserve this so we can see um, that the next generation can understand and uh, have a, a peek back into history. But also we need to understand the legacy our trade leaves behind. Yeah, the first time when I came to the building, uh, it felt very cold and strange building, but um, now, now it's warm and I love it. Congratulations to all our winners for their amazing achievements.